The woman accused of hitting and killing three teenagers on their way to a soccer tournament over the weekend remains under police watch at a hospital tonight. CBS 4's Francis Wang is live in Aventura with new details on her arrest. Francis. Yeah, Rude Bay, the woman that police say caused this tragedy and so much heartbreak. She's recovering here at Aventura Hospital. Now, earlier tonight, we learned from the Body Miami, it's an adult entertainment nightclub, that the suspect is a dancer there. We don't know where she was the night leading up to the crash, whether or not she was working, but we know she survived. Again, she's recovering here at this hospital, and she'll go straight to jail as soon as she's discharged. He's just walking around inside the house, no sleep. And I even eat. I was just thinking about my son. Sleepless nights for Panel Jean and his wife Merlene since Saturday when their lives forever changed. I can believe some discarded woman, um, drunk, um, or no license, and uh, take my life, take his, my son's life like that. Their 15-year-old son, Lenz Desir, and his soccer teammates, 13-year-old Gideon Desir and 17-year-old Richard Dumay, all hit and killed by this woman, 31-year-old Mariam Koulibaly. North Miami police say she was driving drunk with a suspended license. When you look at her record, uh, she has an issue. She has a habitual, whether it's drinking or drug issue. Our news partners at the Miami Herald found 42 traffic infractions since 2008 and seven car crashes. She never should have been on the road, hands down. Surveillance video shows the three boys just walking in their soccer uniforms to catch a bus to a tournament around 5 Saturday morning. You can also see the speeding driver caught on camera who police say was Koulibaly. There is no punishment that will fit this crime. The character and integrity of the three teens made clear in the way people are remembering them. She took three boys' life. You know, they have a bright future ahead of them. One, two, three. three. Now, Koulibaly is being charged with three counts of three uh, DUI manslaughter and three counts of vehicular homicide. Meanwhile, there has been a GoFundMe page set up to raise money for the boys' funeral expenses and also go toward their soccer club to carry on its legacy in the boys' memory. Reporting live tonight from Aventura, I'm Francis Wang, CBS4 News Tonight.